Welcome back folks to Let's Play Sword of Faragon and last time we left off, well, we saved Brocada from Paritan, we fred them and they swore to, became, uh, to become our uh, loyal vassals. They will provide us with some golds each turn. And now we're turning our attention to Paritan because yes indeed, he is going to plan something. I don't know about Neuralia, but it's time to move on against Paritan and Pitlag. So let's make sure all our units are uh, rightly equipped. So we have Samantha, she's a level 5. Let me full screen this. We can go with a chain, a sword, and now we can wear a compound bow, which gives a good, good range. We're gonna go with medium chain, and that's enough. We don't have much in the way of money, so I'm gonna take everyone with the exception of the town watch. We have only five movements remaining, but let's go, let's say north, let's follow this road, and let's get here. A strange old man approaches your a man and asks for a meal. He says, I have some valuable information to trade for food and water, kind sirs. Will you give him a meal? Of course. The old man says, by the time the emperor's rhyme, says borrow gov limes. Rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. He cackles and scurries off into the hills, shouting more nonsensical rhymes as he goes. Well, that's amazing. Exceptional weather has gladdened the hearts of your subjects. Yay, we can raise taxes. Well, kind of. I mean, we are still in a good mod, so maybe let's get a taxation of 80%. And now let's get ready. We have to cross this bridge and then we are into Paritan. Uh, also, do we have attrition? No. So we can move. Right. All of you guys, move on. You are met here by defenders from Paritan. There are about a hundred men in the patrol. Many have bows. Hmm. This is a patrol, indeed. Do I want to attack them? The elves said that they would help me, but I don't see much in the way of help. Well, you know, we can't wait on uh, elves to do stuff, so we will just deploy our troops. Samantha will go over there. Uh, Marlene, yeah, you, you, all got, you guys all deploy over here, that's no problem. Do we want to set the mages with the cavalry for now? I think setting the mages with the cavalry could be a good idea. There is a reason for that. Sister Beatrix, Bishop Alec. I was looking through my units and I also misspell Lydia. Oh, we have uh, a problem. Well, it's not really a problem. Okay. I don't see... Ooh, they have archers. So let us just use the bowmen. We have compound bows. We should be able to get here over long. Okay, let's deal with the archers first. Okay, by moving the archers close one square, we should be able to intercept them, right? Yes. Also, I would like to avoid surprises. So... Thorin, how about you cast some light? I'd like to see around a little bit better. Is there anyone trying to surprise me? No? Well, that's good, because I don't like that. Let's move slowly, you know. All right, he's got some. Oh, he's moving his... Oh, that's the, that's the cavalry. Found the cavalry, guys. Okay, let's attack this bowman. If we can get this bowman, I don't think they can do anything to us. Well, the bowmen are just running away, I think. I think we managed to actually get them to disperse. Or oh, disperse, whatever you want to pronounce that. And we are just assaulting this checkpoint. There's no need to be rushing the enemy. As soon as we destroy these, ar these archers, we should have... Yeah. We have the green light now. Send the shock troops forward. Actually, send everyone forward. 
with the exception of mages, because mages. Alright, where are you going guys? <laughs> where are you going? There's there's no there's no place for you left to run to. Okay, let's get 16 damage and you're running out of arrows, so it's okay. It's mostly okay. We're just gonna move everybody here. Okay. You are attacking or oh, you have range attacks. Well that's unfortunate. Now if only ooh, that's 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 a lot of damage. How is that? That's a lot of damage. Green, please, please. Uh, we can cast like heal. On whom? I think I'd like to cast it on. Nobody lost anything. Ha. Huh. Well, let's cast it on the spearmen. Three hit points. That's what they lost. Okay, let's move into the mud. We go. Hand to hand combat. These guys are no problem at all. Do you have movement left? No. Good. So let's move everyone else and go hand to hand with the cavalry. Eliminated, no problem. 41 hits. Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe. No, 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 no. We are going to continue. There is only one unit over there, but Corinne can cast heal on the infantry. That's 22 hit points. It's not much, but can Marlene cast heal? Mar what is Marlene? Number four. Cast heal on the infantry. There you go. That should put us at 50 and that's about it. Right? Yes, we gain a spell, another spell for Bishop Alec and a spell for Samantha. We gain 15 gold pieces. Amazing. You have gained a crossing, now you may advance on Paritan. Let's move. The Tranavan elves have sent you some of their troops, as the elven ambassador had promised. There are about 250 elves approaching Paritan. Jesus. Scouts report that Paritan is well defended by about 250 infantry, 120 cavalry and 150 bowmen. Let's attack. Very well, we shall deal with the enemy. So let's figure out what to do. Kador and Samantha. Samantha can go over here. Marlene. Marlene, what do you need the healing on? On to you. And Torin, stay back please. So Reynolds. So Reynolds, where do you go? Gertrude. Over here. Sister Beatrix, where do you go? You can go here, sure. Bishop Alec, where do you go? Well, I'd say you can go over here. Bjorn, you can go over there. And Sister Lydia, you can go over there. Okay, Spearman over there. Swordsman over here. Bowman over here. And the Cavalry over here. Okay, so he's got Cavalry, which is the most immediate danger. He's got also bowmen, which we should be addressing eventually. Now the elves are moving, which is good. What I hope these guys do is... They seem to have longbows. Can we see their equipment? No. We just know that they have infantry with bow. Whatever. They just have infantry with bows. These guys have infantry with bow. Or they're just bow called elite. Well, I don't know. You guys have not much in the way of hit points. Like 10 of you have 5 hit points. You are level 6 because you are the elites. I do not have information on these guys though. That's unfortunate. If we say uh, to say the list, Python has a lot of gold and a lot of hit points and a lot of troops. But we have the advantage here because, well, I don't know. Stuff. Probably. Okay, you move over there. Entrench a little bit. Form a wall. Impregnable wall. Okay, uh, can we see anyone here? We see bowmen, which we can target, but the line of fire is blocked, probably because of the houses. Okay, so 
let's attack these guys. Let's completely ignore everything else. And now, can we cast anything? So, Thorin, can you cast something? You can only cast Light, Slow, Confusion, Fear and Mud. Alright. Oh, you are attacking my pre- Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. This guy- Oh, this guy's longbows, look at that. And he's, uh... Oh, uh, uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That's unfortunate, we've got to retreat. Okay, the elves are doing something. Which is great. Okay, we need to avoid having all these stacks. Because if we have all these stacks, the enemy will just do a lot of damage. So we need to spread out. Okay. So, we did take a lot of damage. So, Marlene, you can cast heal on the spearman. Good. Uh, now you, uh, Kryn, you can cast he heal on the swordsman. Now we have a big problem, as you can probably see. And the problem is that you guys are getting mauled. So how about we remove you guys from the stacks? Uh, you guys are being left alone, which is okay. On the other hand, you guys need to start attacking these guys because we need to absolutely demolish this bowman. This bowman can really, really put a dent on my troops. Now, if we can entrench these troops, right? He should not be able to attack me. Okay, one damage to the infantry. Not too much on these guys. We can move in and drop some healing as we need it. We're gonna let the elves do that, their job. Good. So, the elven, are, the elven archers are good. They're doing some cheap damage. Uh, you guys need to move the other units, probably. No, they're, they're just doing fine. They're dealing some damage, but the big damage comes from my bowmen. We have to absolutely attack the center of the town. Doesn't matter how fortified it is. We've got to uh, stay put, because he's got some dangerous units there. The cavalry is could potentially be dangerous. The bowmen can be removed if we can focus... Ooh! Well. There's a unit of cavalry over there which we might need to deal with. Uh, we need to send the spearmen against the cavalry. Eventually we will upgrade them to pikemen. But for now, we have only spears. Hopefully we will be able to reach there. Let's see. In four and four and go hand to hand combat. There you go. Cavalry has been eliminated. Let's send a priest. Marlene, why don't you go over there and cast heal on the spearman? There you go. Let's keep on attacking the bowman. Definitely I want to land hits on the bowman. Once we deal with the long bowman. We can deal with the other bowmen, probably short or crossbows. Now I just I was just done healing. If you could please stop. Oh, there's also mage. Now that's unfortunate, doubly so. But we have the range advantage. There is some sieging that has to go hand to hand with this. Alright? So it comes with the territory that some of your units will take return fire. It is, it is bound to happen, especially on this uh, R difficulty. I don't know if on the other difficulties the enemy has, you know, the... I'm gonna move you over here and then trench. You guys can go back here and then trench. We can use the archers to attack this one. We need to resupply. Luckily we have some gold. Oh my good gods. Unarmed? Now that's un really doubly unfortunate. Now the archers are not doing much damage. So I could put that. Ooh, you're taking a lot of damage though. If I could just 
disable those archers. Those archers seems dangerous though. The problem is they have a good fortification, so we won't be able to, you know, land solid hits with our archers, which is really da unfortunate again. Their cavalry is getting mauled by the elven archers, which is also a good thing for us. Foreign cast some light, please. I don't know if that did something. Well, it did something eventually. Yeah, it just discovered those guys over there, which I could, yeah, I could drop some hits over these guys, but we're missing. And Pariton is unarmed over there. Okay, this could be potentially troubling. Let's move back as we need to heal my infantry. The problem here is the problem. We have to deal with those bowmen because otherwise they will keep on dealing cheap damage. We're doing a good job right now. Thanks to the Elven Archers. Otherwise we will be at a disadvantage. Let's just say, let's just put it that way. In fact, we have uh, now the HP advantage thanks to the elves doing an amazing job and we are not doing anything. We have to absolutely hit the bowmen. Though the bowmen don't seem to do much, I think it's time to maybe, just maybe move my troops around. Okay, let's move these guys. And let's move, actually, uh, where, where, is, where is Marlene? Can you please move over here and cast heal? There you go. I'll move back. Uh, move back, I said. Okay, what are these guys doing? Uh, they're doing nothing. So, Corinne is healing as best as possible. Let's move the infantry over there. We're moving on a road, by the way. So, we're gonna get some hits from the archers. That's not a problem. We have some nice damage. The two-handed sword shock infantry troops should make a good job at clearing. Uh, should make a good... Uh, whatever. What I was trying to say is the swordmen are great. So the problem is these guys are attacking the cavalry only. They could be much more effective if they were to change their targets. Now let's just hope that my spearmen are gonna be enough for the cavalry. Just charge the cavalry and let's just move on with the swordsmen. Let me see Corinne here. Corinne, you're not healing the other two guys, so how about you cast a heal on Bjorn, supply, and then move forward. Okay, did you use some stamina? Yes. That's unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, Bjorn and Gertrude, you stay there. You're not powerful enough to deal with the enemies. This is a big bunch of enemy troops. We should take advantage of that, and also of this to eliminate the mage. Okay, so the cavalry, do I want to send these guys forward? Probably. They're not gonna deal much damage. But at the very least, they should be able to do something. Right. They seem also to focus on the first line uh, infantry, <coughs> and not on the heroes behind. Ooh, you're attacking the... Well, you're not doing anything, elves. Elves, please move forward and do something. We can land a shock assault with a cavalry on the bowmen. Charge. The bowmen have been damaged. Oh, that's not good. They're all stacking over there. Let's try and do a mass attack on these guys. And let's try again. There you go. Well, we did some damage. And where do I want to send you, Corinne? Probably to heal these guys. 
We need to make sure the cavalry doesn't bother us. So there you go. Cav has been dispersed. We did take some damage though. Uh, no, I don't want to go to the next turn. I want to move... I, I, no, no, no. I want to move over here. And we can attack these guys. There you go. That's good damage. Now we're gonna be moving... Ah, uh, that's... I want to move on the center of the city, but I think on the center of the city is a bad idea right now. Let's just remove this unit. Potbug, well, whatever, potbug. Now let's move all my heroes here forward. The enemy should not focus on them. Normal. Just go over there, guys. The mages, I'm a little bit scared to move close to the battlefield. So Paritan wants a surrender. No. There is something I need to do before we accept their surrender. So here's the thing, if I accept now, my units are still damaged. What I want to do instead is cast healing as much as possible. Ah, oh, good job. So the bowmen are dealing damage. R Thanks, bowmen. You did something. We did a thing. Yay. Okay. We have a priest. We have two priests, actually, that can cast heal. I would like, ideally, to be able to snag a heal on both sides. Now, can you move here? Yes, okay. Corinne, please cast heal on the second infantry. I mean, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. And it's preferable. I don't think Sister Beatrice can cast anything interesting. Yep, nope, she cannot. So Marlene, can you please move? Once again, here and supply, of course, and cast heal on the swordsman. They took a lot of damage. Damn it. We did, we did patch our people as best as we can. I don't think anybody else here can cast anything. Now the question is, do I want to slaughter these guys or not? Look, we have a lot of units, that's what I'm saying. It's the last turn, so why not use our troops here? And Corinne doesn't have much in the way of movement, so that's okay. You guys, can you please attack these guys? Charge! Okay, we did some damage. We did take a lot of damage. Okay. Let's end the turn. Uh, yes. Sister Lydia died from wounds. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Reynolds gained one level. Corinne gained one spell. Captain Keller gains one level. We lost two spearmen and four swordsmen. We also lost three cavalry. They gained a level though. Uh, we have once... Wait, commander killed two? Wait, I thought we only lost one. Whatever. Priest, level three. Okay, well, um... I don't know. Um, how can we name this priest? Let's call her Bishop. We already have a bishop, though. I'm running low on names for priests. Let's just call her Lise. You have defeated the forces of Pitalag and captured Paritan. However, in the confusion, Paritan has escaped with a sizable fortune. You get 15 points. Well, I guess, do we, what did we lose? Corinne, Keller is fine, Sacadro, Samantha, Marlene is fine, Thorin, Bartolomeu is fine, Sorrella, Gertrude, Sister Beatrix, Bishop Alec. Wait, who did we lose? I think we lost Bjorn. I think Bjorn just decided to hit the dirt. Well, that's unfortunate, nobody cares. I mean, Corinne cares, I don't. Okay, so we have 9,000 gold and 5 recruits. Paritan has a huge population. That's massive. Let's begin by developing the city. They, they, they just suck at everything. 
uh, we might want some structure for the winter maybe a possibility that's interesting structure yes you might want some commerce but commerce is really expensive so how about we set the taxation uh, to 80 percent for now so let's conscript like five people it's not much and we shall reinforce the spearmen by two reinforce these guys by four and reinforce the cavalry by three we didn't lose anyone else we can definitely start doing some equipment stuff so let's round up my troops now the spearmen we can give them plate we can give them a large shield a sword but if we do that we have only the spear but what if what if we give them a plate a small shield a sword and we still cannot get anything else let's try again what about we give you a plate no shield now you can have a halberd for some huge damage but what if we equip the swordsman with a plate no shield a sword we can go with a pike now the pike deals some nice damage and has six special the pike is very good against the cavalry so that is also a good thing to have if we want to upgrade to pikemen now if i wanted to make the best possible tanks to send in we could go with plate large sword spear now damage is not great but we have a lot of farmer class against missiles which is eventually what we're gonna aim for but right now what I want to do is transform this spearman into pikeman so I'm pretty sure we can go with small and a mace no we cannot so if I have plate I cannot give them literally any shield but if I give you any other armor can I make something like if I give you a chain let's say a larger shield and a sword you cannot get anything interesting but if I give you a small shield with a chain, you cannot get anything. You can get an X bow. I don't know why. But for now, let's go with the pikeman. We can go with plate. We can go with no shield. The halberd is tempting though. We're gonna go with a sword and a pike. Good. Now, everybody has been equipped uh, except the cavalry level 3 we can go with a male a large sword and a spear we have no javelins we're gonna go with medium and chain so we now have a good solid troop here this cavalry has some nice armor class and they have good hit points they have actually seven hit points good movement speed and uh, some damage they only they're only 20 but they have a size of a hundred we can go with uh, 20 more before we fill up this lot can we make them better though can we make these guys better I wonder can I make my infantry here better male let's go with a small shield maybe a mace you have nothing interesting here okay so what about we give you a male no shield okay you can go with a halberd and 200 swords this is interesting as I can give you a halberd but you are on a, on a horse that would be extremely dangerous like halberds on a, on a horse <clears throat> that's gonna be super dangerous a lot of damage it's the same damage though as the other guys so let's equip them to be you know no I just want them with a the sword and a spear medium and chain yes okay we can equip my archers I think they are level 5 
Can you equip anything at level 5? Chain, no shield, maze. You can go with a compound bow now, which is an improvement over the long bow. That increases my missile damage. And now what can we do? Do we have movement points? Oh, we have lots of movement points. We also have to develop a ladder though. City develop, we can go with more agriculture and the more mining. Okay. So we could probably start getting some. Uh... An old man dressed in rugs comes to you and says, Behold, old man, for Corinne is the rightful ruler of the ancient empire, the true descendant of the ancient loyal line of Aragon. He does a somersault, a flip, and rolls on the ground before running away into the hills. Uh, okay. It's your call. Let's just see, can we train some units? I need to train my cavalry here. They're... Oh, we have we have lots of uh, money issues. Nothing really happens this turn. So I woo, that's a lot of gold coming my way. We have a nice income. These guys though. You have an income of two thousand gold. What about this one? You have an income of eight hundred? Wait. I thought I set the taxation to eighty percent. Which still is. So why do you have such a horrible production? Wait, these guys are not producing anything at all. Well that's really not good. Why are you producing so little? Next manufacture. We need to maybe just invest some more money into this one? I have no clue. But I cannot leave this city unattended. So you can have the taxation to 25%. We're gonna stay here. Actually we're gonna be saving on A. And let me see. And I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. I, I think we've gone long enough. So thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.